Hi there, this video is about the soul of the Orange Scrim Task Management Tool The Task Detail Page Task Detail Page is where the real planning, execution and tracking happens, and let us see how. The topmost layer is straightforward with the task title, progress, project name, task group it belongs to, task type, and a few action icons to reload, edit, archive, delete, download, comment, and set it as favorite. As you scroll down you can see all the subtasks and checklists associated with this task. If not, you can create one by clicking on the plus icon to the right. Checklists are key items that must be done to complete the task in entirety, but not significant enough to be treated as tasks. For example, making the design responsive, design approved by client, etc. can be your checklist items. Moving further down, you see task linking. These are additional task attributes to establish relationships between multiple other tasks of the same project. There are three types of linking. Namely, related to, derived from and duplicated by. Related to, is a straightforward indication of two tasks being related to each other. Duplicated by, is to indicate that a similar task already exists for this project. Derived from, is usually used when you identify that the current task wasn't originally planned or accounted for, and rather came to light while executing the chosen task from the list. Now, task reminders. Who doesn't love them? You can set reminders for multiple team members at a stipulated date and time along with a meaningful message. And a notification is fired to all involved. Voila! Collaboration and automation work together. A little further down and you see two tabs. Comments, and Time Log. Click on Comments and you will see all comments posted on this task so far. Similarly, the Time Log tab presents two options to log time. One manual time entry, and two use the automated timer. At the bottom of the task detail page you see a comment box with few key fields in terms of assigned to, status, time entry fields, priority, and billable checkbox. So, once you are done with your part in the task, you come down to this section and post an update of the work accomplished so far, time spent to accomplish this work, update status and assign it to the next responsible team member. In the end there is a notify via email section, where you see that the assigned to user is selected by default. However, you can select other key project personnel to keep them updated on the task progress and status updates. Let us move on to the right hand side of the task detail page. The top half on the right offers the usual information such as, assigned to, people involved so far on this task, and the few date information. You can update the due date, and assign it to fields, from here too. Labels. Labels are another layer of task classification. They are best used in conjunct with the task types. So to explain, say you have a task type, development. Then the label can be a specific feature name like responsive, or updating contact us page etc. These labels gain further significance when you filter your tasks using the label filter on the task list page. Basically you will be quickly able to see how many change requests did you receive for a specific feature, and wrapping up, by showing you the files list attached to this task and a quick activity feed of activities performed on this task by various team members. Overall, you get the full history, relationships and true state of affairs when you get down to the task detail page. Thank you for watching.